All right. Welcome, 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 everyone. So um, we have finished the owl. It looks great, kind of. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about uh, another add-on you can get. And I highly recommend you get it. I think it's one of the best add-ons for uh for synthesis between programs, basically. So um, there's something called baking, which um, is basically the act of creating a uh, detailed UV map, which if we remember, UV maps are basically the flat part of the object um, or the flat map of the object. So if I am in edit mode here, we have a wonderful UV map right here, which represents our owl. Um, and then what we've also got is separate UV maps for every object. So um, the feet, there's a UV map for the feet. <laughs> um, and it is great, right? So uh, that basically uh, is the map that we export when we go to different programs. But this owl is a bunch of different parts. What if we just wanted it to be all one part? So that's what I'm going to talk about today, and it's called baking um, and joining, and we're using a plugin called Simple Bake. So the way plugins work, um, if I go to my render tab here at the bottom here, you can see I've got Simple Bake. Uh, the way you get that program is you can go here and then search for uh, Blender Add-ons, and there's BlenderMarket.com and we can search for simple bake. And there's a ton of add-ons. The great thing about uh, Blender being open source is that everybody has access to the code, so you can kind of uh, play around with uh, with a lot of the code and, and create your own stuff. So um, right here we've got simple bake, and yes, it's 16 to $80. Um, single user by themselves, 16 bucks, buy it. It's going to make everything so much more pleasant in the future. So once you do buy it, you go up here to edit, preferences, add-ons, install. Uh, you'll know that the add-on will be in your downloads folder and it will be a zip file. So you find your downloads um, and inside of your downloads folder, you're gonna be looking for um, for a zip folder and you don't you don't have to unzip it or anything like that you just click on it in your downloads folder and then go install add-on and boom then it'll be on here and if i click on enabled add-ons here um, simple bake will be right there it does update frequently which is nice that they they do take good care of this product as it's uh, as there's new updates to blender they they update this frequently so yeah then once that's there uh close down your program and open it back up and under the render tab now you'll have simple bake right here um so we're going to do a pbr bake i'm going to just kind of talk about um why we use it here let me go ahead and hide some stuff so i'm not going to bake the materials on the pedestal or the background um and i think i'm going to go ahead and hide the lights and the camera Okay, so now we just have the owl. So I showed you the UV maps a second ago, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select this whole thing and go Control J. Select the whole thing, and shift click on the eyeball, and then Control J. Okay, so now that's all one piece. Lovely, or is it, right? So now that it's all one piece, let's look at the UV map. <laughs> so yes, since it's one piece, what it's done is it's put that UV map all stacked up on top of one another. Uh, yes, it looks fine right uh, in the in the actual um, in the render window. You know, all, it still has all its metalness and everything is is where it should be. But if you bring this into another program, it's just going to be uh, a mess because of that UV map. So tab back over, hit A, you can see um, we have a problem here. So how to fix this? We'll go over to Simple Bake. So I'm going to scroll down here and uh, show you the different parts. So we've got setting presets, which is great because you can actually, I've got 4K, yay, which is basically like, yay, I've, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's going to render everything at 4K. And uh, this is all parameters, 
you know, I don't really end up actually, actually, I should probably just get rid of these because I don't use them. Um, and I'll create a new one here. So if I click on this here, it's going to ask me to add the object I'd like to bake. I'm going to add that object. And it's now under owl pupil on here. Let me clear that out because I want to change the name of that. Where is owl pupil? Okay. Yeah, so this is the only mesh that we're dealing with. So if I double click in here and just change it to owl body. Okay. And since it's all one piece, I can now just delete the empty. Whoops. Where is that? And the owl body is there. Decimal point. Well, I guess the, the empty was telling it what direction and where it was in space. So let me undo that real quick. Can I? Yes. All right, cool. I undid it. <laughs> All right, I'll just leave the empty. I don't care. Okay. All right. So um, the next step is we're going to go ahead and add owl body there. Um, I should have just called it owl. Oh, well, I don't care. Let's keep moving. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the down here. And you can see all of these different maps you can make, which are great because I've got different stuff here, right? Like I've got metallic feet. I've got um, a, a roughness and a glossiness to it. I've got uh, a normal map on the chest. Um, I've got a mission on the eyes. So uh, you can kind of, and transmission. I've got actually the, the glass is, has transmission. So I've got all of those parameters. I can bake maps for each one of these basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do um, the diffuse, roughness, glossiness, metalness, mm, normal map, uh, transmission, emission, emission strength. I can do that too. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do the emission strength. I can always bump up the emission strength later. Yeah, so all of that. I'm going to do maps for each one of those. Okay. So go down here, special bakes. No, I don't need to do anything like that. Um, and then here you want to actually change the resolution. Think about this as kind of you, you want to make sure that your resolution is good enough so that the details don't pixelate. So I'm going to do a 4K uh, texture, one 4K texture for the whole thing. And again, like if you were just baking the toe here, you'd do like a 512 by 512. Um, export settings here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to export my mesh here. Um, and I'm going to choose a location for it. And I'll just create a new folder inside of here and call it Bake Owl. Delicious. Okay, baked owl. All right. And then um, format, FBX is good. Mm -hmm. File name, I'm going to call it owl. Okay. The UV settings here, I'm going to click that. <clears throat> and because I wanted to remake all of these UVs onto one, I'm going to go to new UV map. And then map margin is actually... Um, so you don't want UV maps to be too tight together. You want to have a little bit of space between them so that the, the, um, there's no light bleed or color bleed. So, but I'm going to do 0.003 because it's actually a larger map since it's a 4k map. That's basically the pixel distance between them. And since it's a larger map, that pixel distance is going to be good. So new UV maps, little margin there, other settings, GPU compute, make sure that's selected. Um, and you can do it in the background too. So like if I was working on a different part, I can just click on that and keep working. Um, this is probably something you would use more for, you know, when you're doing your gallery or whatever later, um, or doing a larger project in general. So I think that should be it. And if not, I'll have to redo it. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, one other thing, make sure that you 
do not have the all internal 32-bit float selected. Make sure that's not selected. Um, there's another one too. I think we have to make sure it's not selected because I think that's by default. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we want to make sure it's 8-bit. Otherwise, it'll have issues with uh, Unreal Engine later on. So let's make sure. SRGB is good. Okay. Ah, okay. Export bakes as well. Yes, you need to export the bakes as well. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I put this in that folder as well. So, okay. Boom. And then all exports 16 bit new. No. Okay. So that's going to export all of the images of the UV maps. PNG is fine for this one. Um, if you're doing a transparency map, sometimes I like to use TGA, um, but make sure that all export 16 bit, no, not selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to hit bake. No, nope, what happened? Commence bake for PBR. Oh, not in object mode. Okay, yeah. So, object mode, bake. And then it's going to do its thing. So texture bake's done, and then it's going to go through each one of these. It's going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'll come back when it's done. And you can see this is the new map that they're using. Okay, and then once it's done, it says foreground bake is complete. Okay. And you can see here, um, I've got the eye emission, and I think, I, I don't know what this little yellow spot is. It's something else that's emissive. <laughs> and then you hit OK here. All right, and so um, what we want to do next is uh, create a new um, collection here. So if I wanted to do that, I could just right-click and go to New Collection. Okay, and under here, I can actually put my old owl here. So let's see, owl body. Where is it? Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. And I can go up here to our collection, and then I can uncheck it, and bye bye um, So then next I can just go over here and go File, Import, FBX, Baked Owl, Owl FBX, Import. And boom, this is our owl. So I told you I didn't do like the emission strength, right? Um, but what's nice is when I when I go to the emission here, um, and I can actually bump up the emission uh, uh, for this specific spot, and it'll just do where it's mapped out for the eyes. So um, I've got my metalness, I've got my roughness, I've got my transmission for the glass parts, all on separate maps which I can now go to the shading tab and you can look at it. And here are all of the plugged in maps for the different parts. Okay. So I can go like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's see our normal under here. Yep. There's our big normal. Looks all right. Eh, there's some issues, but all right. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I can do my emission um, right here. I've got roughness, uh, emission right there. And if I do emission strength, it will just 
bump up in the areas. with the emission map. Okay, and then for example, I've got trans, uh, transmission here. I can bump, whoops. Bump that up and that'll just go to those areas. Now that looks more like glass. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> as you can see, it looks the way it's supposed to. All right, let's look at it here and bring back Alt H. And yeah, so now everything is showing up and it looks just like the original. But the nice thing is, is it's all on one map. So if I go to UV editing up here, tab over, you can see all the maps are layered on top of each other. So yeah, let's go back over to modeling here. Um, and then make sure my lighting and everything looks good. Okay, so that is baking in a nutshell, and um, that will transfer over to uh, the Unreal Engine, and you can um, use that that kind of uh, uh, style to to make your objects a little easier to transform and transmit between programs. So hopefully you found this useful.